If you Google what is infographics, you will see thousands of infographic examples with different styles, different categories. And after spending some time in search, it becomes clear that it's still not clear where to start. And what if I told you that all this mountain of information can be squeezed down to just 10? Okay, up to 12 categories. In this video, you will learn what is infographics, why you need it, and most importantly, how to start using it right now without any experience as a motion designer. My name is Arthur Weiner, this is the Mobavia vlog, and there are many components to create your own infographics. Research, collecting statistics, and the design of the infographic itself. And if you start creating infographics from scratch, there are two possible outcomes. Number one, you will get something very original and creative and number two, what happens more often, the infographics turn out to be weird, unstructured, and it's generally hard to understand. So let's find out how to avoid this. And let's separate two types of infographics right away. Static infographics and moving infographics or motion infographics. Today we'll talk about motion infographics specifically. So here is the first category. Perhaps this is the most popular category that is well known to all YouTubers, statistical infographics. This category can be divided into two more subcategories. The first one is related to graphs, numbers, facts, percentages, and so on. Here you can use different types of design for this infographic, charts, bar charts, line charts, the so-called spider charts, which visually look like a spider or a spider web, also scatter plots. In general, it has different names, but the point is that they help to visualize any statistical information. In Movavi, we have several packs that already have built-in templates for creating statistical infographics, such as successful business pack or just business pack. But if you need to describe some items in words and not in numbers, then you need the second subcategory. A good example would be demonstrating a recipe or a tutorial on how to become a good editor. In other words, any piece of information that explains something. In order to simply and quickly convey information to the viewer on social networks, it's better not to clutter up the screen with a bunch of letters and numbers, but to bring all the most important things into one graph. Yes, it even has a separate category which is called single chart infographics. Again, they should be as simple as possible and by the way, this category is in the top three most used infographics. This is because viewers love simplicity and transparency. Therefore, try to structure a bunch of thoughts into something very simple and understandable. Since we've touched on learning, let's take a look at the next category, how-to infographics or educational infographics. This is an infographic created to better explain how to do something without words or in addition to words. We use this category all the time on the channel because we produce tutorials. As an example, this could be something like how to make ice cream at home, how to park your car, how to eat avocados correctly, what to do if you were attacked by an angry subscriber. Okay, the latter is not so common. In short, everything like that any visual explanation. But what does an infographic look like for such videos? If in an infographic pack you notice something similar to instructions with a lot of text or just small blocks with text, the so-called lower thirds, callouts, various arrows, strokes, circles, crosses, all this can be used to explain some topic. The next subcategory of educational infographics is the process infographics. This is a more specialized subcategory, but it should have been included in the list. They are created only to describe the process from start to finish, point by point or step by step. How do you get from point A to point B? As an example, the process of designing a product. How to get from idea to prototype, to mass production and to quality assurance. As an example, the process of designing a product. How to get from idea to prototype, to mass production and to quality assurance. Or in sales, how to move from generating leads to closing a deal. Or you can help a potential client and figure out what he will have to go through in a particular process. And in such an infographic, be sure to separate everything with points to make it easier for the viewer to navigate your letter. In this way, you can separate process infographics from timeline infographics, which by the way, will be our next subcategory. But before that, I wanna tell you about a special secret Movavi sale in which Movavi Unlimited is available at a good discount only for subscribers of this channel. With this tool, you Will have a huge space for creativity and do not have to spend a lot of time on learning all the basics of motion design. Movavi Unlimited is the unique annual plan that includes the best from Movavi.
Movavi in one intuitive platform. There are tools for video editing like Movavi Video Editor Plus itself, photo retouching, screen recording apps, and a set of utilities for work and study. On top of this, Movavi Unlimited gives you the one-year access to all the effects that the Movavi Effects Store has to offer. You won't lose much time in learning. Every step of the creation process, from converting raw footage to adding effects to your video project, might be done in just a few clicks. Movavi Unlimited will help you create high-quality content and make your ideas come true. Unlike professional software, Movavi Unlimited is accessible for many users. Its annual subscription plan includes 10 programs and a huge collection of effects at the price of just one app. And the best thing is that you won't need a top-of-the-line computer to make the platform run smoothly. The one-year subscription to Movavi Unlimited is now available at 85% off on the exclusive Movavi sale. Hit the link below to use this or any other special offer from our secret page. Timeline infographics are also not for everyone, but nevertheless, it helps to clearly and simply display a certain time period. For example, something evolved over months or years, maybe there was some improvement due to specific actions. On a timeline infographic, you can easily highlight these changes and convey the main idea to the viewer. There really is no better way to display this kind of information other than through timeline infographics. How have trends changed? How far has your company come since the start? Or what about a brief story of a certain person? And we advise adding different icons next to each time period. It's much easier to understand and remember the information. The associations work great. Another small category is comparison infographics. Everything is simple here. You need to compare something with something. You show it in a split screen format for the side by side infographic. It becomes immediately clear where the pros are, where the cons are, and you can quickly conclude which is better. For example, in our real estate infographic pack, there are several presets to help you quickly create comparison infographics. Graphics. And also, not quite a category, but an important point in creating any infographic is the style elements. When choosing an infographic template, try not just to use what you're given, but experiment a little with the elements. Some kind of block appears at some fine lines or circles. That is something that will make the infographic more interesting. But the main thing is not to overdo it. The Movavi designers have already made sure that you don't have to add anything, but many kids also include elements that you can layer on top of each other to create something more unique. Okay, the categories are clear, but how do you add infographics to a video? Everything is very simple. In the Movavi Video Editor, go to the section with text, and in the left panel, you'll have several different categories. When you buy a set from the effects store, it will appear at the bottom of the same menu. Now just drag the template you like to the timeline, double click on it, and in this window, you can change the text itself, font, text color, background, and the duration of the text can also be changed. And if you want to stick text to some object in the frame, you can go to the motion section and stick the text to anything. I talked about this in more detail in the last video, so be sure to check it out. And also check out this video and this one. There are also a lot of useful things. Leave a like if you like this video and see you in the next one.